welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. As per usual, it's me, Claire Ridgway, here with Tudor events for you. Every day of this year, I'm going to be bringing a Tudor event and On This Day in History to you, whether it's a birth, death, marriage, burial, baptism, battle, execution, you name it, I've got it for you in On This Day in Tudor History. Okay, today I'm taking you back to 1578, which was of course in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. On this day in Tudor history, the 3rd of April 1578, Lady Margaret Douglas, Countess of Lennox, daughter of Margaret Tudor, Queen of Scots, and Archibald Douglas, 6th Earl of Angus, and cousin of Queen Elizabeth I, she was quite an important woman, was buried in the south aisle of Henry VII's chapel in Westminster Abbey in London. Now, Margaret had died on the 9th of March 1578. She'd died after being um, taken ill um, at a dinner party that had been attended by Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, in the February. And this had led to rumours that she'd been poisoned at this dinner party and, you know, she'd become more and more ill, eventually dying on the 9th of March. But there's no evidence at all that she actually was poisoned. You know, the only factor, the only evidence is, you know, that she was taken ill after a dinner party. I mean, Lady Margaret Beaufort, um, for example, King Henry the um, Seventh's uh, mother, you know, was taken ill after eating, you know, at a at a banquet. She ate a swan and then was taken ill. And perhaps it was something to do with the food. Perhaps uh, Margaret was ill anyway. I've got a dog licking my fingers now. <laughs> Um, Margaret made her will on the 26th of February 1578. She knew obviously that uh, she was very ill and in it she stated that she wanted the remains of her son Charles, father of Arbella Stewart, to be moved from his resting place at Hackney to share her tomb at Westminster Abbey. All of her children had predeceased her sadly. Although Margaret um, is said to have died in poverty, she was given a very lavish funeral and that was paid for by her cousin, Queen Elizabeth I. Thomas Fowler, Margaret's uh, former secretary, erected a fine monument to Margaret. Her effigy, um, which lies on top of her tomb, is depicted wearing a red fur-lined cloak and a gown of blue and gold. Her tomb is decorated by four weepers, um, kneeling statues on each side of it. So four kneeling people as statues each side of her tomb. On the one side, her four sons, and on the other side, her four daughters. But as I said, they all predeceased her. The Westminster Abbey um, website explains that at her feet is a crowned lion. Sculpted and painted coats of arms adorn the tomb chest. Darnley impaling Scotland at the east end. A lozenge of Angus and Douglas at the west end. And at the sides, Lennox impaling Angus and Douglas. And her tomb has got quite a few inscriptions on it. Um, these were added in James VI reign and one of them reads, the main one reads, Here lieth the noble Lady Margaret, Countess of Lennox, daughter and sole heir of Archibald, Earl of Angus, by Margaret, Queen of Scots, his wife, that was the eldest daughter to King Henry VII, who bare unto Matthew, Earl of Lennox, her husband, four sons and four daughters. This lady has to her great-grandfather King Edward IV, to her grandfather King Henry VII, to her uncle King Henry VIII, to her cousin Germain King Edward VI, to her brother King James of Scotland V, to her son King Henry I, now that refers to Lord Darnley, husband of Mary Queen of Scots, to her grandchild King James VI, having to her great-grandmother and grandmother two queens, both named Elizabeth, 
to her mother, Margaret, Queen of Scots, to her aunt, Mary, the French Queen, to her cousins, Germain, Mary and Elizabeth, Queens of England, to her niece and daughter-in-law, Mary, Queen of Scots. That is amazing, that inscription, uh, you know, shows just, you know, Margaret standing, all of these royals, she's connected to all of them. Now, it goes on, Henry, second son to this lady, was King of Scots and father to James VI, now King. This Henry was murdered at the age of 21 years. That's Lord Darnley who, you know, was, was uh, murdered in an explosion while well, he was strangled and then an explosion to cover it up. Charles, her youngest son, was Earl of Lennox, father to the Lady Arbella. He died at the age of 21 years and is here entombed because Margaret requested that her son Charles's remains be moved to her tomb. Another inscription reads, Sacred to the memory of Mar Margaret Douglas, wife of Matthew Stuart, Earl of Lennox, granddaughter to Henry VII, King of England, by his daughter Margaret Tudor, joined by the closest ties of kinship to the most puissant kings, grandmother to James VI of Scotland, a lady of most pious character, invincible spirit, and matchless steadfastness. She died the 10th of March, year of our Lord, 1577. Margaret, mighty in virtue, mightier yet in lineage, ennobled by kings and by her forebears, descended from Scottish and English princes. She was also a progenitor of princes. Those things that belong unto death, she released to death most joyfully and sought God, for she belonged to God before. So because, as I said, Margaret's children predeceased her, she was only survived by her granddaughter, Lady Arbella Stuart, who died in the Tower of London in 1615, and also by her grandson, King James VI of Scotland, who of course became King James I of England when he succeeded Elizabeth I to the throne. Now, I'll be giving you more information on Margaret Douglas later on in the year in another On This Day in Tudor History, but I just wanted to share with you because of uh, this day in history being the anniversary of her burial, I just wanted to share with you about her tomb and her amazing links to all of those royals. So, she was buried on the 3rd of April 1578 in Westminster Abbey. And if you're visiting the Abbey today, you can see her tomb there. Okay, well, I'll be back tomorrow with another On This Day in Tudor History event for you. You can subscribe by clicking there, hit the bell to be notified, and thank you for following my work, my videos, and for all your kind comments and your likes. I very much appreciate them. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.